Hi, welcome back to Writing Light. Today I want to talk about character arcs. No, not advanced reading copies, but the actual arcs that your characters go through from story to story. All your characters, major or minor, should have their own arc. In other words, they should learn something and they may or may not change because of what they learn by the end of the book. It doesn't have to be a major or a dramatic change. In fact, when you've got a series character, the changes your protagonist goes through might be kind of subtle. That's because you know your readers have come to expect a certain personality or a certain attitude. For example, Raymond Chandler doesn't change Philip Marlowe significantly from book to book, but he does make sure that Marlowe picks up things along the way that influences his behavior and his decisions. In the same way, your characters need to go through some kind of realization, recognition, and maybe a change in their attitude with every story. But, and, I'm, and I mentioned this last week, you have to be careful. Whatever the character does has to be authentic and genuine for them. For example, Georgia Davis, my cop turned PI, can't suddenly decide she wants to become a North Shore society matron. And Ellie Foreman, my video producer, can't turn into a corporate executive. That would be too much of a stretch for them. But Georgia might entertain thoughts of going back onto the police force in one of my books. And Ellie might decide she wants to make a feature film sooner or later. So, okay, once you've decided what your character arcs are going to be, how do you show them to your readers? That's the fun part, and we'll talk about it next time on Writing Light.